Let's also talk about hurricane season because it begins here in Texas in less than two weeks on June 1st. NOAA is expected to release its annual hurricane season outlook tomorrow. Yeah, so it gives an idea of how many storms we could see form this year. ABC 13 meteorologist Elise Smith is in our weather center now with an early analysis. Elise? Good evening. Yes, let's get right into it. This year I expect the NOAA hurricane season outlook will likely be normal to above normal in terms of how many storms and hurricanes could form this season, which reminder, it's not a landfall forecast for the United States. But back to that potentially active season, two big reasons why that is. One, we're expecting Enso neutral or La Nada conditions and warmer than normal ocean temperatures across the tropics in the summer and the fall months. Both make it more likely for storms to grow and intensify when conditions are right. But let's take it a step further. We're talking about analog years. Okay, these are years based on when we could see similar atmospheric conditions present. And that could be comparable to what we could see this season. Here are a few key ones. Some of these will stand out to you, and for good reason, like 2008 and 2017. But I'll turn your attention to 2006 and 1999. For 2006, it was a slightly below normal year in terms of the number of storms and no hurricanes made landfall in the U.S., but tropical storms did hit Florida later in the season. And in 2011, it was active for the Atlantic and the Bay of Campeche, but not necessarily the Gulf. Now let's highlight some of those years and those storms that impacted Texas specifically. That brings us back to 2008 and 2017. So while it's never a guarantee we'll have a landfalling storm any season, there is reason to stay alert given those key factors in previous years when those conditions were present. And one thing worth mentioning, we don't know how the recent cuts to NOAA will impact operations during hurricane season. Uh, we don't anticipate anything major. The outlooks in the forecast will be issued in a timely and accurate manner, but one curveball could be associated with the hurricane hunters, possibly the frequency of their flights and any research that was planned this season. So, David, it's something only time will tell, just like hurricane season altogether. Only time will tell what will happen.